scavenging. Miriam Webster defines it as to search through waste, junk, etc. for something that can be saved or used. In maritime term, it is the opening and cleaning of the main engines, scavenging air receiver, and inspecting the condition of the piston, piston rings, cylinder liner, and stuffing box through scavenge ports. When the ship arrives at port, where the main engine is stopped especially on a long voyage, the top priority is scavenging. It is to inspect the internal condition of the engine after a long and stressful voyage. From the accumulated dirt to the visual appearance can be a lot of information of the condition of the engine. So first up is cleaning. We are taking out carbon deposits which is a result of some unburnt fuels. To take it out, we scrape it off the surface and apply diesel oil to make it more easier to wipe off. The quantity of these deposits completely depends on several factors like engine load, frequency of cleaning, and different engine parameters. Cleaning may sound easy, but it's way more easier said than done. With a limited amount of space to move, high sweating temperatures, and with less amount of light to work on, this is not a simple task. With this engine equipped with six cylinders and with only four people doing the work, you might want to consider a different career path. Inspection covers the overall appearance of the area with some minor measurements taken and recorded. After a thorough inspection, a detailed report needs to be done to be sent to the office for further evaluation and recommendation. Finally, the most important thing before leaving and closing the area is to inspect for unusual items left, especially rugs. It is of utmost importance that unnecessary items are not left inside the scavenge receiver as this may cause a serious damage to the engine. <laughs> 